Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting, great and relaxing quick questions. And in this video we have this question, we have 4 minus 4 divided by 4 and minus 4. On the first side this is like the easiest question you've ever seen, because we don't have a complicated expression with sine, cosine, maybe square root right here. We have subtraction, we have division, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, everyone know how can we solve this, everyone know what is the correct order of operation. But in the same way, a lot of students do this common mistake and I wanted to record this video, I want you to understand what is the correct way to solve this question. So but before solving this, I suggest you to pause the video, doesn't matter you study at school, you graduated, or doesn't matter whatever you have your whatever your age, you can easily check your answer with mine, you can easily stop the video and pause uh, and choose one option. What do you think is a correct answer? It will be really interesting to check your answers in the end of the video. Okay, here's our question, here's our option, and let's try to solve it. So we have 4 <coughs> minus 4 divided by 4 and minus 4. So one part of students solve it like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I just want you to look at this solution. So one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, 4 minus 4, we know from school this is equal to 0. And they say, okay, we have the same expression 4 minus 4 on the right hand side. So we have 4 minus 4 on the right hand side, which is equal to 0 as well. So we have 0, right here 0, this division, and some one part of students say that this is equal to 0, another part of students don't know about it, and one part of students say that this is equal to 0, so it looks like that. This is the first, first solution to this to this question, so one part of students solve it like that. Another part of students go from, from left to right, just, just look at it. So 4 minus 4 equal to 0 from left to right, then 0 divided by 4 minus 4, we just rewrite it, so 0 divided by 4 minus 4, which is equal to minus 4, yeah, so we have 0 right here, 0 minus 4 equal to minus 4, we have this option, option B, so right here it looks like option A, right here option B, so a different students solve it in a different way, one part of students solve it like that, another part of students solve it like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand that in math we need to, we don't need to solve this like in a chaotic, chaotic way, like subtraction, subtraction, division, or division, subtraction, this subtraction, so we cannot jump from left to right. We need to know what is one and only one correct order of operation, and then we can easily say that this is a correct solution, okay? So I just want to separate these two, two solutions, so we have minus 4, we have 0, and let's Let's check these solutions with order of operation. For example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific, graph and calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's check this question according to PMDMC, because right here as you can see we jump, right here from left to right, right here we jump from left to right, right here we solve this problem as this problem type it in, so from left to right. So let's solve this according to a correct order of operation and we will check with this minus 4 is 0, maybe we'll have the same answer, I don't know exactly, but let's look Look at it. So we have 4 minus 4 divided by 4 and minus 4. So here is our question. Let's look at this PMDMC. First step is parentheses because this PMDMC goes from the top to the bottom with the first step letter P, so the first step parentheses. Let's scan. Where do we have this parentheses right here? Let's look at it. I don't see any parentheses. Yeah, we don't have any parentheses because, yeah, I don't see any brackets, any parentheses, and we, we already skipped this part. Okay, what about exponents? Exponents right here, let's look at it. No, I don't see any squares, cubes right here, I don't see any huge powers, and it's really great because with exponents our question will be like more complicated for us, more harder to solve, because for example imagine 4 to the power 10, you need to raise these. Right here we don't have it, we skip this part. Okay, the next step. Multiplication and division group. A lot of students do this mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, now we need to find multiplication sign at first. But according to PMDMC, we need to look at it in the perspective of a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. So right here, subtraction, yeah, right here we have division sign, we need this expression, and we have subtraction. So really great moment, because we don't have multiplication, we have these, we have these division part, which is really good for us, because this is our first step after parentheses, exponent and multiplication, first step to solve is to divide these 4 divided by 4, which is really important for us, because right now we have 4 minus 4 divided by 4 equal to 1 and minus 4, which is really great for us, because as you can see right here, addition and subtraction is our last step, so we have subtraction sign, yeah, right here we have subtraction, we don't have addition. So as you can see right here, division all the time is before subtraction, so all the time you need to divide it first, then subtract, or multiply it first, then add. This is a very great rule, you, I hope you understand or you learn this rule, because this is a very important math rule. Division and multiplication doesn't matter what order of operation you select, all the time is before addition and subtraction, so just learn this rule. 
So 4 minus 1, 3, 3 minus 4 equal to minus 1, which is option C. And take a look closely. Minus 4, no, we have minus 1. 0, we have minus 1, which is really great. So we can easily reject this solution, which is really bad for us because we cannot go from left to right. Right here, 0 and minus 0 minus 4, which is absolutely wrong. Right here, we have like subtraction, division, subtraction. So we solve this problem as this problem type it in, which is absolutely wrong solution. Right here, we have like 0 right here, 0, which is absolutely wrong. Maybe with parentheses, it will be correct expression because we start from parentheses. Then we need to 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4, which is maybe correct in the some way. But right here, we have like our main rule. Division is before addition and subtraction. So we reject this solution as well. So 0 is incorrect, minus 4 is incorrect, minus 1 is absolutely correct solution because division all the time is before before subtraction. So here is my solution. I hope you understand this explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I feel like one part of you solved it like that, 0, another part maybe minus 4. I feel like that, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best. I hope you learned something new. This is my main goal to solve this video, to, re to record this video, and I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.